Hello, and welcome to Dippin' Dot's how-to video on replacing a power cord. This video applies to all L-Cold model freezers. As you can see, our freezer has no lights on its display, which means that a power cord is probably the common issue, and this is how to check and replace it. First, let's disconnect the freezer from power so that way it's safe to work with. Next, we're going to inspect the power cord that's outside of the freezer. Starting with the plug head, we're going to look for any missing prongs or burns. This one seems to be okay, so let's just give a quick check of the rest of the power cord. We're going to be looking for any nicks, holes, exposed wiring, burns, anything that just seems like it may be out of sort. Since we don't have any obvious damage on the outside of the power cord, let's check the part we can't see. We're going to use a small screwdriver like this one here to remove the compressor cover. There are three pins located at the top of the compressor cover. By pressing them down, we can free the cover out of our way. Next, we're going to use a Phillips head to take off the back cover. I have a small bit driver, but you can use a standard Phillips head screwdriver as well. Remove this by taking the two screws out of the bottom of the cover. Once the screws are removed, pull out on the bottom of the cover, and then gently pull down. Now that our covers are removed, let's disconnect our power cord. Located on the side of the freezer here, on the right hand side of the compartment, is the Molex adapter. Free it by lifting up on it, which will take this clip out of its slot. Once it's out, we're going to disconnect the power cord. That's the one located right here with the white, black, and green wires. Depress the pin on the clip and slide it free from the Molex adapter. Upon inspection, you see we have a burned wire. Since we've discovered that the power cord is the cause of our problems, let's remove it. To do that, we'll have to remove the power cord retainer, which is this white plug right here. On it, it has two sets of clips, one on either side. These are what we have to depress to move the power cord. Start by freeing one side by pressing down with the thumb and pushing it out. Once you're done, half of it should be out and half of it should still be secured in place. Once both sides are depressed, and the retainers come most of the way out, simply pull on the cord until it comes free. Once this is done, the Molex plug is a little too big for the hole, so feed your clip through first, and then allow the rest to simply drop out. Now that our old power cord is out, Let's take a closer look at the damage. If you see here, the black wire is burned completely in half, which has left burns on our white wire. Not only was this dangerous, it's not going to allow the freezer to work. So we're ready to install our new power cord. To do this, we're going to reuse our power cord retainer. You're going to place it down the cord on the Molex end roughly about 8 to 10 inches. Then using a pair of needle nose pliers, we're going to set the cord into the retainer. Press firmly against the cord and slide it in between these two tabs here. Next, close the retainer and at the base from the open side, press it firmly 
until it touches itself fleshly. Next, place your hand inside the compressor compartment and gently feed the Molex plug through the hole in the back. Place the retainer in the hole, press in firmly, and pull the pliers out. Now that our power cord is installed in the back of the freezer, it's time to connect it to our Molex adapter. We're going to install it on the opposite side of the Molex, directly across from the wiring harness for our thermostat. Once the power cord is installed, we can then place our Molex adapter back into its original place. Next, we're going to plug our freezer back in to return it to service. Now that power is restored, after a two minute delay, our compressor should start. Thank you very much for watching.